Hi everyone, my name is Vanessa and I'm going to be showing you a flip through of the Kawaii Taro. So the Kawaii Taro comes in this box. It's a sturdy little box. So it has a side, the name, the deck, and the sides. And then it actually shows you the cards. So you'll notice it's really quite minimalistic. Now I'm also going to show that once you open the box, it contains the guidebook and it contains these two packages, which I do not like. I really don't like this. Now going into the guidebook, it's actually quite uh, informative. So you do have the information, uh, introduction, the tarot spreads, the major and minor arcanas, and the final thoughts. There's actually quite a lot of information here, sample spread, several pages of it, <laughs> this really big one. Um, and then of course it goes through the major arcanas where you actually have several, um, a, a lot of information located in it. So even in, if you go into the minors, oh, this is still the, the major. Even if you go into the minors, you still have a lot of information. So it's a pretty good guidebook. It's something that I would like to read. It also has a picture at the top. So something interesting, right? Okay. Now let's go into these boxes. And I hate this. I really do. I do not like it. Honestly, it's so fiddly. Can't even open it. See? And you have the deck of cards there. Sometimes you get the card in the, and they don't even notice it. Oh. So yeah. Okay. Then you have another box. Okay. Then as mentioned, there's actually one stuck here that you don't even notice. So you have to look inside. But there aren't any cards. Now honestly, I think these are wasteful. I really want to just throw them away. So we're probably going to be putting this in a separate container, in a separate tin. Oh, sorry. In a separate tin because I really don't think that they should go in back into these boxes. I think that it would just damage the cards. Okay? Hey, so let's do a flip through of the Kawaii Tarot. So first, let's look at the backs. So the backs are like this. They are reversible. Very cute. And then I'm going to show you why I didn't like the packaging with the two with the two boxes so you'll notice here this card is actually kind of like folded up i think it's because it was shoved into the box and that's why but it doesn't really bother me i got the second hand so i don't mind okay so now let's do the flip through of the kawaii tarot so this is the fool the magician the high priestess the empress the emperor the Hierophant, the Lovers, Chariot, Strength, Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, the Hanged Man, Death, Temperance, the Devil, the Tower, the star, the moon, the sun. So yeah, so it's some really simple imagery, judgment, and the world. And let's go on to the wands. This is the ace, two of wands, three of wands, the four of wands, the five of wands, the six of wands, the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Page, the Knight, the Queen, and the King. So there's not really a lot to see in the court cards, but you will notice that there's a sign on the top. Now let's go to our Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups. Three of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Then again, the page is like this halo. We have the Knight, the Queen and the king. Okay. 
Then we'll move on to the swords. Let's see, six swords. Two of swords. Three of swords. The four of swords. The five of swords. The six of swords. The seven of swords. The eight of swords. The nine of swords. The ten of swords. The page. The knight. The queen. And the king. Then lastly, let's move on to our pentacles or our discs. The ace. The two. Three. The four. The five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. The page. The knight. The queen. And oops, <laughs> and the king. 